everyone, welcome back. So it's Sarah and in today's video I wanted to talk about my March favorites. So I have some personal items, home items, beauty items, just a lot of great stuff that I wanted to share with you guys for the month of March. Okay, so you guys know I love Vera Bradley and I have some Vera Bradley um, items here. Um, I've been loving using my wristlet. I love using a wristlet for on the go. It just makes it so much easier. Um, this one is like a smartphone 6, I believe. Um, I will put everything in the description box down below. But I did um, haul this, so I'll put that video as well. Um, it's just really great to use, especially over spring break. You know, we went skating, we went to the beach. Um, so I just love carting a wristlet around, just makes it so much easier. Um, it does have this snap closure here, a zip around, a detachable wristlet, and then a zip in the back. And then on the inside, it does have some slots, an ID card, a huge pocket here. It was just a really great essential for on the go, and I've just been loving it. Um, the first one I picked up is this lilac color um, I bought for the cruise last year, and I loved having it for the cruise, especially walking around the ship. Um, it was just easier to cart, and then every time we went to dinner, it was easier to take than a purse or a clutch. Um, I love the size of it. It's really great quality. Anytime I get anything from Vera Bradley, I feel like it's great quality, so I've been really loving my wristlets. Um, the next thing I have is this Vera Bradley mini um, cosmetic pouch, and I love this one because of the size and the durability of it. It has that wipeable um, material, kind of like, I guess, a floaty material is what I want to call it. But it's very um, nice because it has that nice wipeable material on the outside as much as the inside. And it's just a perfect size and it's so flexible. Like, I love this thing. Um, I think it was like a cosmetic duo, um, cosmetic bag case thing. Um, I will definitely put in the link below. But anytime I'm looking for a certain style for Vera Bradley, I like looking off of Poshmark because it's just easier for me to type in what I'm looking for and then it pulls up everything that customers are selling in their closet. But just love this. I just carry feminine products, nail stuff, medicine things, a lot of lippy stuff because I'm a lippy addict and that's my favorite when it comes to <laughs> makeup. But but loving this and this is in Paradise Paisley. Okay, the next things I have is some lip products because again, lip products are my favorite. So I am a Grove Collaborative customer and just recently I stumbled across that they have Burt's Bees and I've been loving Burt's Bees. So I have this gloss lip crayon. I have the color Pacific Coast which is this pretty raspberry color and then I have this pink Lagoon which is this pretty pink which I'm wearing today. It looks kind of light on my skin tone I think but I still love it. I think if I pull off more of a natural look then it, it looks really pretty especially for on the go. I love these because they're moisturizing, they're glossy they're very pigmented, um, so I love the fact that whatever the color is on the packaging is what's on my lips. Especially for this raspberry color, the Pacific Coast, it is so pretty and very pigmented. I love it. They're not drying at all. Um, I just, I think they're really great. If you haven't tried one, definitely pick it up and try it out. The next one is their chapstick. This is in Vanilla Bean. I'm obsessed with Burt's Bees chapstick. I'm obsessed with their lip products in general. But this one in Vanilla Bean, Vanilla Bean is great. You know, it's just very neutral um, scent. So they have different ones, which I can't wait to try the rest because I just love it. It's very, um, they're very like smoothing and glide and moisturizing. And it's just my favorite. Okay, the next things I have is um, Physician's Formula. Um, I have this uh, eye definer felt tip eye marker and it's an ultra black and it's just really great because it has this very fine tip that I love. It's just easier to um, work with, especially when I can't see without my glasses. And I do wear contacts, I just tend to be more of a glasses type of person. But this is really great. So if you're into Physician's Formula, definitely try out their um, felt tip eye definer marker. Love this. 
and also I love is kind of my combo when it comes to bronzing. I love their butter bronzer in the coconut and then their booster bronzer which I use the booster as more of a bronzer glow type and this is the one that gives me more color and the coconut butter one is coconut butter the butter bronzer is more of a matte translucent topper on top of this so that's kind of what I use as a combo but the only thing with uh, Physicians Formula is I wish they would do better on their packaging because they tend to be so bulky and when I want to travel with favorites I can't because they're so bulky so that's the only downfall I think with Physicians Formula but other than that I love their products um, the last thing I have in here is a hand sanitizer gel by Grove Collaborative. It's in Blood Orange. Um, this is really great. It's really moisturizing. It doesn't dry out your skin. Um, the scent is amazing. It smells like fresh blood oranges. just has that nice citru citrusy smell, and I adore it. So I definitely love this. I keep um, this on my desk, or sometimes I'll have it at my bedside, but... I love it and I love that it comes in this not nice packaging as well <laughs> so that is all my beauty products the next thing I have is household items I have this basket here it just makes it easier for me to cart it around but um, so I have some stuff from Grove Collaborative Target and Walgreens so we'll start with Grove Collaborative I have this um, seventh generation natural dish liquid soap and lavender and mint I love seventh generation because I love that it it has a great lather to it and it's more comfortable for me because I'm slowly transitioning into more natural less harsh chemical products for my house and it just helps me know that um, it feels like a dish soap to me because of the lather is so nice and the scents are nice they're very um, mild which I love when washing my dishes I don't like the very strong dish liquid soap scents but this one's pretty nice it's really mild. Um, my favorite I think is the first one I had which was like a lemon citrus um, scent but I do love the 7th generation for dish liquid soap. The next thing I have here is the Mrs. Myers um, Clean Day Room Refresher and Honeysuckle. Love this. The, sm the scent is so refreshing and it's so sweetly smelling. Like I love that about it. And it lasts pretty good. Like, I, I like it better than, I'm so sorry, <laughs> the Caltrea. I know this is a favorite, and if you are a Grove Collaborative customer, you know that this is a favorite. But I have to say, this is very diluted, and it sprays out very watery to me. It doesn't last long um, with the scent. This is the Pear, pear Blossom Agave. Um... Yeah, it just it's not my favorite. I kind of use it for the bathroom refresher, if you know what I'm saying. I keep it um, above the toilet, and it's, yeah, it's just not my favorite. It's too light and diluted for me. Um, this is very great. This, this has more of a sh um, longer, stronger um, linger in the household, and the smell is, is great. So I definitely prefer this one over this one. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing I have is from Target. This is um, from the Honest Co. And this is the first thing I've ever bought from the Honest Co. Um, I, when we first moved here, I needed something quickly to, you know, clean the kitchen with. I didn't have too much. So this is the first thing that I, that I grabbed. And it's um, just a multi-surface. It powerfully cuts through grease and grime. And it's in the Coastal Surf. The scent, it smells like baby lotion. It smells like um, more of an almondy coconut smell to me, which doesn't bother me, um, but I just thought it would have more of a airy ocean scent. I don't even know if you can describe an ocean scent, but I just was thinking of something totally different. But it has more of a baby scent to me, which, again, is fine. And so it works really great. I mean, I'll spray it on, like, um, spaghetti spills or something, and I'll just let it sit, and I'll wipe it away, and it works really well. So I absolutely love it. Um, just using it throughout the kitchen, the kitchen t uh, tables, the cabinets, all of that good stuff. Um, I really like it, and I would repurchase it. Okay, the next... Um, Thing I have here I got from Walgreens it's the Shea Moisture 
um, baby head to toe avocado and shea butter extra moisturizing lotion. And so what I use this for is um, when I get out of the shower, I will put this in my extra dry spots. That might be too, be too much information, but I like to use it like on my elbows and on my feet. It's just, this is a very um, extra thick lotion. So it'll take a little bit to get it um, through the skin really well, but um, I would definitely use this more on drier spots. But the smell is amazing, so I've just been loving this and this is a great company to work with if you're looking for something um, that's more on the natural end it's just better for your skin in general um, this has everything that you're looking for as far as things that you know when you pick up a product and you're like oh I wish I didn't have to look in the tiny ingredients but they already post all that for you on their label which I love and the honest Co. does it as well yeah right here at the bottom so I love that about companies when you, you know, because when you're trying to look for a product and you look at the back and you're like looking through those little ingredients, it's just really hard. So when companies like this post it already for you to read, I love that. This thing is also from Grove Collaborative. It is the Mrs. Myers Clean Day Hand Lotion, Shea Butter and Almond Oil in Basil Scent. I love me some basil. This is my favorite scent um, in the Mrs. Myers collection. Love it. It's like when you buy fresh basil and you cut into it and it has that sweet smell. This is what this smells like. It smells so good. This stays right by my bedside so I can put it on my hands anytime I want because it smells so good. So um, yeah, I've absolutely been loving this. I love the scent so that's why I bought it in a lotion because I love, I'm just a lotion fiend. I could say my favorite beauty items would be lotions and lip products but those were my favorite lotions at the moment and household goods the last things I want to talk about are candles and a book that I've been loving I love DW candles I got these at home goods and I love that they're in this pretty gl blue glass um, decor they definitely go with my home and they smell amazing they are more on the expensive side but they last a long time. Um, I have this one in Ocean Waves, I think it is. Ocean Waves, uh-huh. And it says breathe, and it's just, it's so lovely. I love the smell of it. It smells so good. Even smelling it now, it smells so good. And this one's in Crystal Marine. And this one came with like a natural wood top, which I love because it looks great in my bathroom. But yes, oh yes. It smells so good. It's like those perfect candles when you light up and you come to your house and it's clean and you just smell that scent and it makes you feel so relaxed and at peace. I don't know what it is about scents and when they do that I'm just like yes. <laughs> so I've been loving DW candles. So the last thing I want to talk about is this Magnolia Story Chip and Joanna Gaines book. Love them. They're such a great inspirational couple they're very genuine and honest and they just bring me to home if you guys know don't know i'm i'm from texas we just moved here to california um last summer and so reading this just brought a lot back to to my childhood and things um if you don't follow them on the show you know that i mean if you do follow them on the show you know you'll see some similarities in their books so like when you're reading it you'll laugh out loud and you'll be like oh yeah i could see them saying that or doing that but they're just very inspirational they just went for things in life and they did it and i love the fact that they're <laughs> total opposites that can make it work you know what i mean and i love their um how they raise their family and just everything about them is just things that I love um, in a family or in a life style, I guess. And I love Joanna's um, decor or just, I love her style in general, like love it all. Um, yeah, it was just a really great book. I really love them. They're very an inspirational couple. Um, but that was everything for the month of March. You guys have enjoyed this video. If you do, definitely give me a thumbs up. Um, definitely follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. But I do appreciate you guys watching. Um, hi to everyone who's new to my channel. And hi to everyone who keeps watching me and takes the time to watch me. But you guys are the best, really. Um, I love sharing with you guys. If you ever have any questions, definitely 
leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. But as always, I thank you guys for watching. And I'll check you guys in my next one. Take care.